Britain burns as temperatures hit record highs. Join me for all those stories and more at 6.30. Good evening. You're watching the ITV Evening News. I'm Lucrezia Mullerini. The records fell as quickly as the temperatures rose today, with the UK recording its hottest day ever. It reached a sizzling 40.3 degrees Celsius in Lincolnshire. That's almost 105 Fahrenheit. So it followed the UK's hottest ever night and the extreme heat covered most of the country was Scotland recorded its highest ever temperatures. The effects though have been damaging and deadly. Tonight homes in Wennington in East London have been evacuated after a major wildfire erupted, one of several right across England. There have been further deaths in open water as people try to cool off and of course they have been the inevitable travel problems on the railways. Well, tonight we have the latest on the impact of those record-breaking temperatures from our reporters right across the country. But first, our correspondent John Ray on those wildfires that are engulfing homes. Well, as I said, we're going to be speaking to our correspondents right around the country. We're going to speak to Sergio Carrier now, who is at end of... Well, fire crews are also dealing with a large wildfire in Doncaster. Some residents there have been evacuated from their homes. Our North of England reporter Sangeeta Lal has been there and she sent this a moment ago. Sangeeta Lal reporting from Doncaster there. Well, these fires come as... Well, for those not affected by the fires or the travel disruption, there was a small matter of dealing with the record-breaking heat. Rebecca Barry looks at how people coped on the hottest day. Well, to put it into context, the heat that's hit the UK today is so extreme, it's made us one of the hottest countries on the earth and it's been the spread of that heat that's made this heat wave so exceptional. Chloe Keady is well, there's been a second day of severe travel disruptions because of the extreme temperatures. Our consumer editor, Chris Choi, joins me now. Chris, many commuters stayed home over the past few days. Um, but what's the situation right now? Well, clearances are affected even when they have run, they've run with... Chris, with, with all the problems that we've had in the last few days, there's no certainty that things are going to get back to normal tomorrow. Absolutely. Is, isn't it, Chris? Now, thank you. Um, of course, some more details on this record-breaking temperatures that we're seeing and, of course, travel disruption on our website, itv.com slash news. Well, now, nowhere can you get a better picture of the rise and spread of the heat than at the headquarters of the Met Office uh, in Exeter. Well, there is plenty more to come on the ITV Evening News, including well, they say what happens in the so-called lungs of the world has huge implications for the global climate and that couldn't be more relevant now. So that and much more after the break. Welcome back. Millions of public sector workers are to receive below inflation pay rises, increasing the risk of more industrial action. The government's pay awards to teachers, doctors, nurses and police officers comes as unions demand wages match the spiralling cost of living. Here's our political reporter, Shihab Khan. A bigger interest rate rise will be on the table at the next meeting of the Bank of England's decision makers. That's what the bank... The battle to be the next Tory leader and Prime Minister is now between three candidates. Kami Badnock was eliminated this afternoon after failing to get enough votes. And that leaves Rishi Sunak, Penny Mordaunt and Liz Truss all still in the running tonight. Well, our political editor, Robert Peston, is in Westminster. And Robert, just three left standing and there's all still to play for. Well, you're watching the ITV Evening News. Here's what's still ahead before Emmerdale. First, as the UK swelters under its hottest day ever, we have a special report from the Amazon on the environmental destruction that's fueling climate change across the world. ITV News has seen how the rainforest is being cleared to make way for illegal gold mines. It is destroying the homes and livelihoods of indigenous people and releasing toxic chemicals into the rivers and its effects spread 
far wider. Today, the head of the World Meteorological Organization warned that deforestation in the Amazon is boosting global warming. From the Amazon, our correspondent Emma Murphy sends this special report. Let's go to Emma now, who joins us live from Brazil. And Emma, the World Wildlife Fund clearly extremely concerned about the expansion of illegal mining. Well, let's get an update on what is making the headlines and hope. Well, deadly wildfires continue to force people from their homes across continental Europe. The extreme heat moved north, sparking more fires in tinder dry areas. Tourists have also been evacuated. Our correspondent Ben Chapman has the latest. To some of the day's other stories now and in athletics, Britain's Laura Muir has revealed she nearly missed the World Championships after clinching bronze last night. The Next tonight, a bit of showbiz and the new Netflix movie The Grey Man has its premiere in London tonight, starring Ryan Gosling and British star Reggie Jean Page. It cost $200 million and took a decade to make. Well, our entertainment reporter Rishi Davda is on the red carpet in London tonight. Rishi, plenty of stars in the sunshine. Well, very warm pursuits on that red carpet. Much more after the break. Lee all that plus the latest on the wildfires after the break. Hello again, welcome back. Now, if you've struggled with the heat over the past two days, spare a thought for the zookeepers who have to keep all kinds of different animals hydrated and with temperatures higher than anything you'd normally see on the African savannah, they all needed cooling down as Ellie Pitt reports from West Midlands Safari Park. Well, let's get that all important weather forecast now. And before we go, an update on that wildfire in East London, which has set buildings alight. Sedgel Carrier is in Wennington for us this evening. Sedgel, what's the latest? Updates on our website, itv.com slash news. That's it from us though. Chris is here with news at 10, but from all of us here on the evening news team, goodbye and stay cool if you can. <laughs>